friends, this is Eunice and welcome to the Journey Home Podcast. So first off, I just want to apologize because I have been kind of quiet on social media and also on my podcast for the past couple weeks because I have honestly not been feeling well. I have been battling kind of just fatigue and a strange sickness for the past two months and um, thankfully I'm starting to get some answers to all that, but um, it's just made me feel tired in the midst of transition already. And so (laughs) that is why I've been kind of quiet. So I just wanted to jump on here today and share some thoughts I've been thinking about, about miracles, about spiritual warfare, and about just persevering um, in the midst of trial. So I want to jump into Ephesians 6, starting at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Now, I have been loving that scripture because I've been thinking about spiritual warfare because I feel like, honestly, that I have been coming up against a lot of spiritual warfare um, in this transition. And so I have prayed. I have gathered the intercessors, had them praying for me. I have fasted in this time, and I'm still honestly sick. Now, I have also gone to doctors and they are helping me get answers. And praise God for amazing doctors that have been helping me. I'm really grateful to them. And thankfully, nothing serious has come up in any of my tests and stuff like that. And But I just ponder this idea of, I just feel like I've been, it's been a battle. And um, something about battles is it, it's, it takes a lot of energy. <laughs> and it takes persevering. And that's something else I've been pondering because I feel like, man, um, I love the idea that God is a God of miracles. I love that he does miracles even today. And it's something I ask for him to use me to pray for people and they'll get healed. Or um, I pray for people and they'll see a miracle in their life. Like I think that is so amazing that the Lord wants to partner with us in this way. But at the same time, something I've been pondering is the idea of miracles. Because when do you need a miracle in your life? You know, in your own life, when do you need a miracle? You need a miracle when you're kind of pushed to the corner and you realize, oh man, I need the Lord to break through. Nothing in the natural is like working. I need a miracle. I need God to break through. And this could be in so many ways, like finances or in health or you know, maybe your car broke down and you're like, oh man. And so it's like, it's like interesting because it's like, I like to see miracles, but often it's like, hmm, but do I often like to be in the place where I need a miracle? Because that's not an easy place to be. (laughs) And that's something that I've just been pondering because I feel like, you know, physically I've been in need of a miracle. I have been asking people to pray for me. Like I said, I have been really needing to press in Um, for my health and just my energy levels to come back and things like that. And so another thing I have been pondering in this time is in James 1. James 1, starting at verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. How many people love that word, perseverance? That is a word... That is hard for me sometimes. But let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Often I want the maturity and the completeness, and I don't want to be lacking anything, but I'm pondering it takes perseverance to get there, you know? If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all that they do. So going down to verse 12, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test, 
that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Who doesn't want that crown of life, man? I do. But something is is that the scripture is saying, blessed is the one who perseveres under trial. It's going to take some perseverance and tenacity on our part. And that's something that I've been thinking about, man, like, you know, I wished I had seen a miracle like two months ago in my health, <laughs> in this health journey thing. You know, I, I praise God that there's nothing seriously wrong, but I just, I would just love just some breakthrough. I would just love to feel better again. Because honestly, so I said it, we've been here since June, July, August, September's done. So like half the time we've been here, I've basically been sick and it kind of stinks because honestly, it's like, this is not who I am. Like, I'm not normally like this. <laughs> I normally have a lot more energy. I normally um, can do more things. And so it's been a, a trial for me. But in this trial, what the Lord has really been speaking to me is like, Eunice, persevere. Wait on me. And if you've noticed the scriptures I've been sharing on social media, it's about waiting on the Lord because I personally need it for myself. But why I'm sharing all this with you guys is not just an update on me. It's really an update on, I just want to share this for anyone else. It's going to encourage because I feel like many of us are going through tests right now. Many of us are going through trials right now. But the Lord in his word, he says, persevere, persevere, you know. And so that's where I just want to encourage you guys is whatever trial or test you might be going through, um, Usually these are unexpected and we're waiting on a miracle is to not give up. The enemy wants us to give up in the middle of the trial, but the Lord, he has purpose in the trial and he wants us to persevere. And that's where I just want to encourage you guys is to realize, man, there is a battle out there and it's a spiritual battle and we need to just put on the full armor of God. We need to get in his word more, be praying more, and just to really just press through in perseverance, um, even on the hard days. And so that's what I've been trying to do these past two months. If you think of me, please pray for me just for healing. I would love healing in my body. And um, yeah, I just pray that each one of you guys, I'm going to pray right now. Lord, each one of my listeners today, Anyone who's going through a trial, Lord, I ask that you give us the tenacity in our spirits to persevere through these trials. God, that we could cling to you, that we could wait upon you, Lord, um, to just give us strength. Lord, thank you for your goodness. Lord, we praise you for your kindness. And Lord, we know that we ask these things not because we deserve anything, but it's because you are that good to each one of us. You are such a good and loving father that you want to bring healing and miracles into our lives. Lord, thank you for every person listening. I pray that you bless them and their households in Jesus name. Amen. So I hope that this encourages someone out there and I hope that you guys have an amazing week. And again, if you think of me, this week. Please pray a prayer of healing for my body. Thank you. Bye-bye.